Uh, an additional use case that you can use Copilot for Microsoft 365 with Excel for is to analyze the data. Now, we have already talked about how you can use Copilot for Microsoft 365 to create formulas you want, right? Now, for example, um, we could create formulas that tell us, given this particular data set, which location and product has the highest sales in 2021, for example, right? Now, we can basically put some averages in here uh, or calculate some standard deviations and get Copilot for Microsoft 365 to do all the formulas for us. But if we just want quick answers, we can actually give the data itself to Copilot and then let it do everything. Now, a word of caution is that you need to watch out for the answers that you get because it may not be correct, unfortunately, all the time, right? Which is why it is always recommended that you do the formula approach. Okay, but we have an example over here, uh, which where we have location, product, year, and sales. And what I want to do is a few bits of analysis with this particular example. So let's just go ahead and create our prompts. All right, so I will write my prompt over here where I say, hello, I have the following data, which shows me the sales by location, product, and year. And you are a financial analyst. I have not said advisor, but I've said analyst, okay? And then I copy uh, this data here, and then I paste it here. And basically just feed the information at the moment. So basically it's just going to do its thing now, and it will give you a summary. Um, I guess it will also kind of give you a quick overview of what it has observed. So we don't have, uh, we don't need all that right now, but that's okay. Now, what particularly I want to ask Copilot is some simple questions that maybe my manager would ask, all right? So let me just go ahead and put my prompt. Uh, what location and product had the highest year over year increase in sales? Now, I do not want the complete analysis. What I want is a direct answer, right? So what I can say additionally is I just want to know the answer. That's it. All right, so there we go. We have the answer. It says the location and the product with the highest year over year increase in sales is Fairview Equipment, which is this one, uh, which has increased from 428 uh, in 2020 uh, and to 702 in 2021. So the increase is about $274, right? Now we know the increase of the sales year on year. Now we can also ask about the decrease in sales, right? So let's just copy this prompt over here and change it a little bit and say, what location and product had the highest year over year decrease in sales, okay? So let's just go ahead and have a look at the answer. All right, so here we have the answer. It's the Lenovo equipment and which had decreased from $631 in 2020 to $246 in 2021 and the decreases of about $385, right? Now, not only that, we can even go further and ask Copilot to build a table for me that shows the total sales by location and by year because Copilot is much better in uh, you know, sorting and all, all those kind of things. And basically what it has done is that it has created a table for us. If we want, we can just copy this and also paste it in our Excel as well. Now, since we have told Copilot that it's a financial analyst for this particular data, we can ask it an advisory question as well. So what I want to do is I want to know which store which is performing low should be closed, okay? So let's just go ahead and ask that prompt. Um, which store location would you recommend closing as well? All right, so that's actually a smart answer. As a financial analyst, I would not recommend closing any store location solely based on the data provided. Uh, store performance can be influenced by a variety of factors, including market trends and so on and so forth. So it has chosen not to provide um, uh, any answers. But what you can also do is you can also, you know, uh, do further prompts. Okay, what are the other factors should, that should be considered? Can you help me analyze optional cost? Or how, how can I improve the sales in uh, Lenovo? So you can do all those kind of things as well. So basically, you can do some very simple data analysis, and we didn't even really use Excel uh, that much. We really only used Excel to get the data and copy that into Copilot, and rest of the things was done by Copilot 
and we only give the prompts, right? But this is very useful um, if you just want to do some uh, like one-off analysis instead. If you don't want to do a one-off analysis and do all the work over here, instead of saying uh, that you are a financial analyst, you could say you are a financial advisor and maybe you will find uh, a different set of answers as well. I hope you like this video. Why don't you go ahead and try it for yourself? We'll meet you in another video. Bye for now.